Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Very grateful that Father or Mother God allows me to be here again today. Interesting, as soon as I start talking, you can already imagine another scolding. Interesting, this image that I implanted in the minds of each of you, or rather, that you implanted in your minds about me. No, 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 imagine that I will be upset, nor that I am sad, nor that I am judging you, I just prefer that you remember me, as the one who only wants the best for you, as one that attracts attention, yes, but it is exactly to make them see the truth, to make them wake up, to make them understand the wrong path they are taking. That's not why I'm going to stop scolding you here, because when I give them, it's because you need to hear them. As Sananda himself said previously, we want to make you the best, we want to make you those who will be ready to go to the fifth dimension at the exact moment. This without reactions, without suffering, with just a lot of joy in our hearts. That's why so many demands, that's why so many scoldings, that's why so many teachings. And the funniest thing about it all is that many still reject my words. They just prefer to say to themselves that, an archangel or an angel doesn't talk like that. Yes, you were really led to believe that when you love you put your hand on your head, carry yourself on your lap, cover your faults, accept your mistakes, in other words, it creates a perfect world for that other being who will not learn anything and will certainly follow a completely wrong path, because he did not know how to face life as it really is. So I would say to you, who continue to think this about me, ask me for proof of whether it is me or not. I've said this here several times, but many prefer not to believe it, but they are also afraid to ask for proof, because deep down they know they are wrong, that they are just following the teachings and dogmas, which they were forced to accept through their religions. So really, I don't worry about the image or concept you have of me. I'm just making an observation and I'd like you to think about it. Those who are so bothered by my scolding, that they forget everything I taught them, that they forget the journey that I made you take, to remember and focus only on the fact that you are being scolded. So, ask yourself, why does this bother you so much? Why does every scolding I give here make you angry with me? Does it make you go so far off track? It'll tell you what it is, it's your inability to accept that you're making a mistake because those who don't respond to the scolding here and feel nothing, because it doesn't concern them. So if you were so upset, so bothered, it's because it fell straight to your heart and you're angry with yourself for still making that mistake. But because your ego is immense, you transport this anger to me and I tell you that everything is okay, I will not return it to you in anger, because my feeling here is pure love, it is pure intention to make you follow the correct path. Since you stop to listen to my words, then you need to learn that I don't just bring roses, I also bring tasks and comments that are often more painful. And this is how you learn, not by rubbing your head, not by praising, by making you feel like you are the greatest, that I will be helping each one of you to fulfill the mission of going to the fifth dimension. This does not work. Speaking sweet words, making the world rosy, saying everything is fine. What does it do to you? The ego inflates and then you think you are the master of the truth, you think you are the boss, ah, I did it. See? I achieved. Where are my teachings? Nowhere, because as I have taught here, showing off, showing yourself better, showing yourself superior, is not from the fifth dimension, this is a big ego still from the third dimension. I want to say something to you. You have a very serious problem with keeping quiet. Each one of you who achieves something, who achieves something, has to put it in the newspaper so that everyone knows about it. As Sananda would say, this is ego, the ego of demonstrating that you are the best. Oh no, but then many will say, no, that's not it. My intention is to show that everyone can achieve it. Make a mistake. If you want to fool yourself by thinking this way, make a mistake, it's all right. And I will continue here saying that this is pure ego, because whoever achieves things, whoever conquers, conquers for themselves, conquers for their masters, conquers for God the father or mother, not for the other. You don't live according to each other, 
the journey is yours. So, what does it matter to others to know that you achieved this or that? What does it matter? No, but mouths are moving like crazy to tell us what happened. So, what happens on the other side? That feeling that you thought would be giving you, encouragement, returns as envy, as anger, as inferiority, for others who can't achieve any of that, for others who seek, 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 and fail and who think, wow, I do everything right and I can't achieve anything that so and so said so, did you give any encouragement? Or have you caused a wave of inferiorization and loss of will among those around you? Think about it. Think about what you gain from counting, what you do what you don't do, what you get what you don't. What do you win? Where can you emanate a good feeling around you? Because if it were a really good feeling, everyone would be the same as you, because they would have seen your comment as an encouragement, but that's not what happens. You are still in the third dimension, so the feeling is not one of encouragement, the feeling is causing more annoyance. 